everybody, welcome to another Sony Vegas tutorial by Techtopia. And in this tutorial, uh, this was another request by Iconic Pixel. And uh, what we're going to do today is create an advanced intro creation so that we have an intro to play at the beginning of our videos. And or you can use this for whatever you want, but anyways, uh, this is going to be a little different than you might expect. I'm not just going to really show you an intro I created, then create it. Um, I'm just going to kind of show you some techniques that you can use to create an intro and then you can apply them to create whatever you want however I will still show you an example but it's not going to be my full effort um, I don't know if you really uh, understood that but you'll see what I mean once the tutorial actually starts so right now we're actually going to start this tutorial and okay let's get started so I'm in my media generators tab here I'm going to go to noise texture and let's just get something real quick here let me see something. Uh, let's just drag in blood cells. Now, here we can edit the color, uh, the progress, the offset, the frequency, the noise parameters, whatever we want. We can change the noise style. So I'm going to change this to black. So it's kind of a black and reddish color. But uh, I'm actually going to change it to green. Okay. And see here where it says noise style. Right now it's at fractal turbulent. We can change this to contours, uh, marble heavy grain, light grain, whatever you want. You can do whatever kind of uh, effect you're looking for. So I'm just going to leave it at the default fractal turbulent here, okay? Now what I'm going to do is put a keyframe at the end and put this progress in degrees to full. Now what this will do is it will um, animate our blood cells and make it look cool. So now what we're going to do is add some um, hold keyframes to our blood cells and make it look cool. And I'll explain in a bit. So I'm going to go to my video effects tab. Let's uh, get, uh, let's try something. Let's go to newsprint. I'm going to drag in offset print zoomed. And right away it looks all zoomed and weird. But uh, we're going to take this uh, dot size all the way low. Let's move a few frames, about the two second mark will do. I'm going to add a new keyframe by hitting this button here that says create keyframe. I'm going to right click our new keyframe and hit hold. And this turns it red, and now we can uh, move a few more frames with our little slider thing here. Just move a few more frames up. Now we can put our dot size to whatever we want. I'm going to put mine at about uh, 3,440. And okay, I'm actually going to move this uh, next keyframe that we just created a bit. Just a bit to the side here, one sec. And it's not letting me move. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now we created a new keyframe. I'm going to right-click this new keyframe and hit linear and it changes back to gray let's move a few more frames put this dot size all the way to zero now right click our new keyframe and hit hold so now we'll have this new pattern that looks like this we got a hold keyframe over here a linear keyframe here and another hold keyframe here our two hold keyframes have no settings applied whatsoever but our linear keyframe is the one that has the dot size increased now if we play this back, what's going to happen is it's going to stay the same throughout the entire video, but for like one short moment or one short instance throughout the clip, there will be one flash of newsprint. So let's play it back. Alright, you see that little flash? That's what we just created. So you can do that multiple times. I'll do it one more time for good measure. I'm just going to go back to my video event effects, move up to about the 5 second mark, and again, it's real easy. Just insert a new uh, keyframe by hitting this icon and right now it's a hold keyframe by default but if it isn't just right click it and hit hold you can identify a hold keyframe between a linear keyframe because a hold keyframe is red and a linear keyframe is gray and I should have said this at the beginning of the tutorial but it helps if you know about keyframing if you don't know anything about keyframing I suggest looking up a tutorial it'll help you out okay so I got my new hold keyframe here now I'm gonna put the dot size up again and okay, and now let's uh, right click our new keyframe, hit linear. Move a few more frames, put the dot size all the way low. Now right click our new keyframe and hit hold. So we got this pattern going on here. And now it will uh, do that flash I was talking about twice. So there's the first time. And right there, that's the second time. So yeah, there we go. And I'm just going to do that with TV Simulator one more time, just to add some effects. So I just drove in a TV Simulator. And between TV simulator and newsprint, we're going to put our new effect. It's the same process. Just add a hold keyframe. 
move a few frames then put the static up or whatever settings you want I'm just gonna move this a bit okay that looks good now let's change our new keyframe to a linear keyframe move a few more frames put everything back to uh, its original place if you can remember all of it okay now uh, it's all empty there's no effects applied now we'll make our new keyframe a hold keyframe so uh, I think I went over that pattern enough here's our final product so far alright so that looks pretty good 